Next year we'll celebrate 40 years. After nearly four decades of dining guests at the Brookfields restaurants, co-owner Sam Menelakis says this year by far is the most challenging. We're just trying to reinvent ourselves and try to figure out different things to do to keep the money coming in. Like others across the state, Menelakis was forced to close his three locations at the start of the pandemic back in March. Now being allowed to reopen with restrictions. I think the state has got to be more uh, aware of, of what they've done by asking restaurants to shut down. Today, he joined restaurant owners from some of the state's biggest counties, filing a government claim saying they want money spent on fees while they were closed or partially open to be refunded. Even when they told us to shut down completely, uh, it was it was very difficult. We still had to pay the fees. Manalakis estimates he spends about two to three thousand dollars a year on health and alcohol permits and tourism fees for one of his locations. My clients follow the rules. We now just want the state to help. The lawyer representing the restaurant says if state and county governments don't refund, he plans to file a class action lawsuit on behalf of all California restaurants. It isn't fair that at the same time they're following the law and they're closed to protect public health that these governments are still collecting fees from these very restaurants. For some owners like Sam Menelakis, every bit helps, especially heading into the holidays, what should be one of their busiest seasons. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be very difficult. Emily Maha, KCRA 3 News.